All right, you saw the video, you clicked on it. Now you just gotta make sure you got a snack. And you gotta make sure you got something to drink. And dope intro. What's up guys, welcome back to the Mod Lab. Got some pretty cool stuff that we're gonna do today. Today we're gonna be doing breaks on daily because as you know, daily lives matter also. Uh, if you got a race car, you still gotta have a daily and you can't neglect it, which that's my issue, I always neglect it. We got our brakes from AutoZone. This is their gold series. We also got their brake pads over there. And this is what they look like these are coated rotors. Obviously, once we put them on and drive it for a while, they're not going to be like this. Probably just this hub piece right here will stay this color, but the rest of it is going to eventually just turn into the normal looking rotor. So not to be confused with the resurrected trailblazer, I, my daily is a regular trailblazer. So the first thing we're going to need is a jack. All right, guys, I'm just going to jack it up from the differential. All right, now I'm gonna put a jack stand under here for safety. Got the pin in too. All right, now that we're here, we gotta take the cover for the lug nuts off. So I'm gonna take a flathead screwdriver and just pop them off. So now we have to take the lug nuts off. Now that we got the cover off, um, I'm going to be using a air impact wrench. If you don't have one, uh, if, you're not, if you can't use that, you can use an electric impact. If you don't have one of those, you can use a breaker bar. Just put a socket on the end. And if all that stuff won't work and you just can't get it off, you can use one of these. Might be a little harder to find, but this should be able to do the trick, if anything. All right, now that we got the wheel off, I'm gonna take off the caliper. Just gotta get these caliper bolts off. There are two 14 millimeter bolts that hold the caliper on. And there's one. There's our caliper bolts out. Now we got the bolts out. Just gotta pry this caliper off a little bit. All right, there it's off. All right, so now Gotta take the brake pads out. Those are out. Now we just got to remove the rotor. There we are. All right, now that I got some brake cleaner on our rag, I'm just going to clean the rotor up a little bit, get any oils that are on it off. All right, we should be good to go. All right, new rotor's going on. Now that we have the rotor on, we have to put 
new brake pads in the bracket. If you really wanted to, uh, you could scuff this part up and then spray some primer spray paint in there just to avoid any any rust or anything to unseat the shims in here. But we're not going to do that. Alright, so we got the new shims that come in the brake pad kit on our bracket. And now we just have to bolt this back up and then uh, put the brake pads in. Alright, brake pads are going in now. Alright, they're in. I just gotta put the caliper back on. Alright guys, so a trick that I learned over the years from my dad to get this caliper back on, you have to compress this piston to get it back on here. So how you would do that my way is put it on put a the old brake pad right there and then just take a C clamp. Like this and just tighten it just go slow don't don't wrench it on there you can see the piston and the caliper is getting compressed right now so now that's pushed all the way in so now we can bolt this back up to the bracket and have no issues just make sure that if you go about this method, or probably any other method, that when you're done, pump the brakes in the car before you go anywhere. Because this isn't compressed, then it won't apply the brakes, and that would be a very bad thing. Okay, caliper is going on. We grab our caliper bolts. All right, now we just got to tighten it down. There we are. All right, now it's time to put the wheel back on. Now I just gotta tighten it down. All right guys, we got this whole side done. The last thing that you would really do is torque the wheels down, but I gotta do the other side. All right, so now we just gotta torque these down. And we're done. Alright guys, thanks so much for watching. Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, and share it to everybody. Peace.